Good morning, everyone. It's a great morning for me. You know why? Well, I've been stopping by this launch for the last couple of weeks and just hopping out and shaking some branches. The neighbors probably think I'm a little bit nutty, but I got here this morning and I finally found what I've been looking for. We are gonna hammer some smallmouth today. Well, as you guys saw, the mayflies are out today. So we're gonna take advantage of that and try to find some smallmouth feeding on those guys. And what I've got tied on here, I'm actually going with the Helgramite again. And instead of throwing that on a jig, what I've done is I've tied on one of these really light owner one out mosquito light hooks. And that hook is light enough to keep that Helgramite so that it still floats. What I'm gonna do is throw it up around some of these low trees and we'll give it little twitches on the surface and try to mimic one of those mayflies that's dropped into the water. We'll see if we can get some smallies to come chomp on that today. Oh yeah, that one came and grabbed it. Oh yeah, that looks like a decent one too. Oh, there's another one chasing him. Oh, wow, that's actually a good one. Heck yeah, that's a good way to start the morning. That one came and snatched up that Helgramite. Wow, look at that. That is a pretty small mouth. say the little finesse topwater wacky rig worked pretty well there. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll catch a few on that today. That's a good way to start things off right there. Good morning. All right, now I'm just cruising along, scanning the shallows, looking for any fish roaming around or Any trees or bushes that are super full of mayflies. Ooh, that one looks like it's packed with mayflies right there. You can see them buzzing around out in front of it. Ooh, I just saw a fish over there pick one off too. Something grabbed it there. There we go. Got you that time. Oh, that is a chunk, too. hanging out right in front of that bush that's absolutely packed with mayflies over there. Jeez, it looks like the branches are sagging on that thing. Yeah, there's a good one. He thought he was getting a nice big old juicy mayfly for breakfast there, but I tricked him. <laughs> A nice one. Another nice mammoth on the little finesse topwater wacky rig. Yeah, that sure is a fun way to catch them. Real quick, I want to show you guys that bush that I just caught that fish out in front of. Look how thick those mayflies are in there. Exactly why that fish was hanging out right in front of it. That's an easy meal when those mayflies start dropping in the water.
That one snatched it up. Oh, that is a chunk. Sit down and back paddle a little bit because I want to keep this one away from those bushes. Oh, that is a fat smallie. Ooh, man, that is a pig. Nice. Look at that one. Yeah, that one came and snatched up that Helgramite. And that is a chunk. Not super long, I'd say probably a good 18 and a half, 19 incher. That is a super fat fish though. Yeah, they are definitely fattening up with the easy meal that they have with those mayflies buzzing around. That is a nice fish. Didn't really hit it that hard. You just kind of plucked that mayfly off the surface. That wasn't until he jumped that I knew I had a chunk on the line. Oh, I see a bass over there and he is a big one. Got him. Oh, that one is a pig. Thanks for jumping over the weeds. That's a good one. I thought he was a little bit bigger than that. Man, he looked huge from back there. Oh, that was pretty cool though. It's always fun when you can watch them come eat it. Nice. That little Helgramite is doing a pretty good job of imitating a mayfly today. This one fell for it at least. And a few of his buddies have. Yeah, I decided to come try the other side of the lake. I did work my way up along that shoreline, but the water's a little bit low right now, so a lot of those spots where I was finding bass feeding on these mayflies in past years, they're just a little bit too shallow. This side, it runs a little bit deeper. Oh, I see one swimming up there. We've got some bass activity over here. There looks really nice too. Geez, so does this one right in front of me. I'll try to get the close one here first. There's a few really nice ones looking. Well, what do we have over here? Oh, I didn't get that quite far enough. Gotcha. That was pretty cool. She has friends over there, so I don't want to get too close. Come here, little buddy. That's a nice one. 
this dark colored smallie. And she came out and hammered that algamite. That's a nice one. I paddled my way all around the back of this bay. I didn't see a thing. It's kind of mucky back there. I think we're just starting to get into where it starts changing more into sand and rock in here. Those weeds kind of cleared up out in front of these trees too. Give those bass a little bit of a lane there to hang out in. Gotcha. Oh, that one's a pig. Wasn't sure if I got a little bit too close to that one, but well, she was still willing to bite. They're in a chowing down kind of mood today. That is another nice one. Awesome day so far. It's a perfect day for this kind of fishing too, man. A little bit warm out, but some sunshine and not much wind, it's making it pretty easy to spot these fish out here. That one really wanted it. Woo! That is sweet. Jeez, that one went airborne when it grabbed that Helger mite. Yeah, that's a nice one. Where do you think they're going? That's not where I wanted to put that. But I did kind of shake out some mayflies over there. Gotcha. <laughs> in a mood to eat today. Come on up here, you. There's a nice one. Full of weeds there too. <laughs> it's Molly with a side of salad. Oh, hey. Alright, come here now. Get those weeds out of the way. Yeah, no hesitation out of that one to pounce on that hooker mite over there. This is some fun fishing today. Look what we got 
there. Thank you. That's a nice one too. Pig. Get the net. Yeah, that's one of the coolest parts about fishing this mayfly hatch. Even on this deeper water, you'll see them cruising about a foot beneath the surface, looking for those mayflies I can chow down on. Man, look at that one. Wow, what a beautiful fish, too. How awesome is that? You can actually see the fish about 20 feet off to the side. Throw that lure at them, give it a couple of twitches, and she just hammered it. Gotcha. Man, that one is a chunk. Where do you think there's that one? Man, how much fun is this? Almost every one of these fish that I've caught today actually spotted the fish first through that little Nico Helgramite at them and they come over and inhale it. There's a nice one right there. Get that hook out of you. There we go, another one on the Helgramite. Using that to mimic the mayflies. Nice, chunky little smallmouth. Yeah, they're getting some bellies on them, look at that. It's pretty much a free meal for them right now. couple weeks from now there's gonna be some super fat smallies roaming around this lake. Well guys it's been an incredible day of fishing. These mayflies they made for a lot of fun today. I think the mayfly hatch might be my favorite time to be out here chasing smallmouth. It combines sight fishing and topwater and smallmouth bass and I just don't think it can get much better than that. That little Nico Helgramite, that thing got the job done again today too. This time rigged up as a finesse topwater wacky rig. It worked quite well to trick those smallies into thinking it was a mayfly that hit the water surface. That was a lot of fun catching them like that too. I had a blast out here today. I feel so lucky that I have such incredible fishing close to home. This place really is something special. But I think I've had enough for one day, so I'm gonna paddle on back over to the launch. Thanks for coming along with me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>